Having power during any grid down emergency situation is extremely valuable. There's a lot of ways to generate power during an emergency. However, not all of them are as efficient or as mobile as a solar power generator. So in this video, we're going to talk about the EcoFlow Delta Power Station, which is a mobile solar generator that can easily power the equipment and tools you're going to rely on during any kind of an emergency situation. We'll talk about the features, the specs, and what it can or cannot do, and why it's something you might want to look into in the sense of being prepared. Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and today we're talking about the EcoFlow Delta Power Station and why you might need a solar power generator to survive any kind of an emergency situation. It's very useful to be able to use the renewable energy of the sun to keep your electronics going during a disaster rather than relying on some kind of fuel, right? So, EcoFlow reached out to me and wanted to know my thoughts on their products, and I told them without much experience with your product, I'm not going to be able to tell you very much now, am I? So they decided to send me the EcoFlow Delta Power Station, as well as their 160 watt solar panel, which is folding and easily transportable, to kind of check out and let you guys know about, and then decide if it's something that I felt was good for the community, which I do after being able to spend some time with the unit. So one thing I do want to say is that they sent me this equipment to check out and to review, and then they also gave me an affiliate link, which will be in the description, as well as a pinned comment, if this is a unit that's interesting for you and it's something you think you might want to purchase. They also have other products available as well that are all related to solar power generation. But I wanted to get that out of the way and let you guys know what my relationship was with EcoFlow before getting into the video because I will try to be transparent with you as much as I possibly can. And if you're worried about trying to maintain power through any kind of a grid down scenario and you know SHTF's coming our way, then hit the subscribe button below because hopefully if I get more chances to review gear like this and equipment that can actually help us all survive longer, then I will definitely share it with you when I have the ability to, okay? So, let's talk about specs real quick on this unit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Don't you guys want to see what this thing can power? Sorry about all the rambling, but let's actually see what this thing can do. What can it power? Let's find out. It can power this, which is extremely important so I can have my coffee during a disaster. But I will show you guys the interface really quickly here too, because I want you to see how user-friendly and easy it is to read. It shows you the percentage of the battery life. It shows you the output as well as what the input would be if it was charging right now. Super simple, super easy to use. Yes, you can make coffee with this without being plugged into anything else, which is amazing. What else can it do? It can power this refrigerator from the carport. That's legit. It's powering all of this right now at the same time and charging all of these batteries. You can also run a heat gun at 1500 watts. And it can run a rice cooker. Can't go wrong with that. You can also run a space heater on 1500 watt max setting. It can do this. And perhaps most importantly, we can slap the base. It's an 1800 watt unit, which means it can power anything that consumes up to 1800 watts and it can handle that actually up to a 3300 watt surge if need be. So that's a good thing. That's a lot of power and that can definitely power just about any kind of household item you can think of. Obviously, you're not going to use it to be running a full-size air conditioner or a washer and a dryer or anything like that, but you can definitely use it to run a refrigerator. You can use it to run a space heater. You can use it to run power tools, so it has the capability. It also have a 1260 watt-hour capacity. So watt-hours are a little confusing, and if you're new to prepping and you're like, what the heck does that even mean? Just for basic intel, um, if something takes 20 watts, let's say like a light bulb of sorts, okay, and in one hour it's going to use 20 watts, then in three hours, you're going to have 60 watt hours of energy use. So you can only imagine what that means for having 1260 watt hours of capacity. Now, if you have something like a space heater that might use 1500 watts, then you're not going to get a full hour of use out of it with something that only has 1260 watt hours of capacity. So that's kind of the way you can look at it. But obviously, you can determine what your needs are based on those watt hours and based on what different pieces of equipment you think are going to be running for that amount of time. Okay, so it has six AC outlets, okay, and each AC outlet is capable of that 1800 watts, but of course you can only run, you know, up to 1800 watts at a time. And then it has two USB-A's, two USB-A fast 
charging ports and it also has two USB-C ports okay and the USB-A's have a 12 watt max the fast ones have an 18 watt max and the USB-C's have a 60 watt max now what's nice is that both sides of the generator system have power options where you can actually tell it whether or not you want to use the AC power side or if you want to use the direct current power side so obviously it gives you a little bit of an opportunity to limit the power consumption in that way um, it weighs 31 pounds which is not bad yes it's heavy but at the same time i can lift it very easily throw it in the back of a car and it can definitely take care of me wherever i go so if you're going hiking camping or anything like that very easy to bring with you maybe not hiking but you know Anything outdoors, it's definitely doable as long as you're not going on a huge trek where you don't want to drag 30 pounds around. Now, for disaster preparedness, it's definitely nice to have because if it just sits at your home or stays in your garage or whatever you're going to use it for, it's just sitting there, so 30 pounds doesn't matter. But one thing that is nice, okay, and here's what you need to understand. It charges from 0 to 80% within one hour as long as you plug it into the wall outlet. And it comes with all kinds of adapters for plugging into the different power sources. But that's in one hour. So you can get 80% charge in an hour. Whereas other generators out there aren't as fast. Okay, So that's definitely a plus for the EcoFlow Delta. The other thing you want to understand is that if you have three of these 160 watt solar panel units, it can charge off the sun within four hours. Now with one of them, it's going to take anywhere from 10 to 20 hours to be able to do that. But with three, you're talking four hours off the sun and you have a full charge. And that's huge because that's very valuable. And then with a car charger, it's going to take you uh, about 10 hours. Okay, So keep that in mind because honestly, there's a lot of benefits to having something that charges very quickly, especially in an SHDF scenario where you're not sure what the next threat is going to be. And in a disaster situation, like a hurricane or something along those lines, you want to make sure you get the power as quickly as you can and then get going if that's what you have to do. You don't want to have to wait around for something to repower for very long. So definitely something to consider. And if you are considering a unit like this one, you just have to make sure you have enough solar panels in order to charge it as quickly as you would like. Okay. Like I said, this one 160 watt setup right here is going to take anywhere from 10 to 20 hours based on solar intensity to actually recharge the unit fully. Okay. So that's a one year shelf life on a full charge. And that's not bad at all. Fully charge it, put it away in your inventory. And in a year you can still use it that's pretty solid. So you know you can always have it as a backup power system even if it's not your main go-to, which I find to be a benefit. Something else to consider as well, and here's something I want to bring up, is that you can plug it into the wall to charge it very quickly. But you can also plug it into the wall and then plug other devices into it, and then it will act as if it's just a like a, a surge protector basically okay it's an outlet extension it doesn't utilize the battery once it's plugged in and then other devices are plugged into it but if the power goes out it now serves as a full backup power system and what's nice about that is that when it's a full backup power system it only takes 30 milliseconds to switch over to that and then still powers the devices that are plugged into it so like i said if you have a refrigerator or something like a coffee maker or whatever it is you might want to plug into it and still have to be able to use during an emergency you should be good to go now certain electronics like computers and stuff might still shut down because 30 milliseconds might be too long but if we're talking about something like a CPAP machine for somebody who has sleep apnea that is huge to be able to make sure that that person can still utilize that equipment within 30 milliseconds of a power outage definitely something important to think of okay now Another thing I want to mention, because I live in North Dakota and this is very important to me, but it does have certain temperature operating ranges that you have to be aware of, okay? To charge it, it has to be between 32 and 133 degrees. So what does that mean? It means that you got to be above freezing if you want to be charging it. You can't have it outside below 32 trying to charge it in the sun and hope to get what you need out of it, okay? Now the panels can handle better temperatures. They can go down from to negative four. So as long as you have anything above negative four, the panels can be outside. And then if you can insulate the unit somehow to maintain it above freezing, you can charge it. Okay. The discharge is negative four and that goes up to 113 degrees. Okay. So what's nice about that is that pretty much for any use you're going to use it for, as long as you're in above negative four degrees, it's going to work for you. So that's something else to consider based on your environment because it does get to negative 40 here sometimes, but I'm also not going to be outside in negative 40 or using this equipment in negative 40. If I am using it outside, it's probably because I'm using it for heat or something along those lines. So hopefully it's not going to be that cold when I'm using it. Okay. Now you're going to ask, well, how much does this cost magic? This unit right here is $1,299 right now, which is very expensive in many ways. I know a lot of us are on a budget, but once you price out how to build your own homemade generator, right, which I have done in the past, and it's a, 
it's a process and it's never as user friendly or as easy to do as having something like this unit definitely not as portable which is extremely important when it comes to bugging out or something along those lines okay when you add in all the costs and the time and the effort and everything else including the capabilities it's actually not that expensive for what this can do with 1800 watts of capability as well as a 1260 watt hour capacity and the ability to charge as quickly as it does from the wall if you need it to and 80 percent in one hour and 100 percent within an hour and a half that is why it's expensive but that's also why it's worth your purchase because it definitely can give you what you need it to do in that moment now there are other options from ecoflow like their river series which are less expensive i believe you can get in the door around 500 dollars with those and they even have expandable battery packs and all kinds of other stuff so that's something else to consider okay it doesn't just stop here with a 1299 dollar delta other options are there for you as well especially if your power consumption needs aren't as you know large as what you might expect them to be okay but for me being in north dakota i want something that can operate something to generate some heat or to cook with or who knows what depending on the situation okay so that's exactly why the delta was the right choice because when i talked to ecoflow we went back and forth about different types of models and different setups that would be you know better for my situation as well as for the audience here so wanted to make that uh mention to just kind of let you know okay now it does have a two-year warranty so if anything goes wrong, I mean, you have two years for them to fix it and take care of you in. And that's not bad at all. It just lets you, you know, work on it and utilize it for a couple of years and then figure out if it's going to, you know, maintain the way it's supposed to. So let's talk about something else here. The EcoFlow solar panel. This is 160 watts. It folds up in a nice, neat little package and you can carry it in a little almost briefcase style carrying case that it comes with and then the case itself is a kickstand okay so it's 160 watts it weighs about 15 and a half pounds it's got a 21 to 22 percent conversion efficiency rate okay so obviously you know the higher the rate the better and for, for charging of speed and everything else um, but it is just what it is i mean you can't really do a whole lot better than that in these fold out units so this is good it definitely does the job and it's charging the unit right the second okay um basically Everything here is user-friendly and easy to utilize, okay? And so I wanted to give you all the details, give you all the specifications, and also roll in a bunch of footage of using different equipment, and I'll show you how all of this works. But the EcoFlow Delta, for the price point, is a good unit, and it is compatible with other items as well, such as additional solar panels. If you have other panels already and you don't want to purchase the foldouts, it can definitely still be compatible with those um, it definitely has the ability to power most of the equipment we might need and might want to utilize okay so it's a no-brainer that a solar generator system for a grid down scenario is definitely a valuable tool to have being able to power any electronic device you might be able to think of other than some of the big heavy hitters like an air conditioning unit or some kind of a furnace would be very useful in a survival situation having the ability to use all your power tools charge all your batteries make sure all your electronic devices are ready to go when it comes to your phones or your computers whatever else you might need in order to be able to communicate or better prepare yourself during any kind of an shtf event so the ecoflow delta power station is a good unit and it definitely did exactly what it said it could do it gave me all of the different utility that i required especially when it came to being able to use things like a space heater or a refrigerator but it also powered anything small without any issue at all so i am impressed with the unit and the biggest downfall which i'll tell you about right now is its price at 1299 dollars it's going to be steep for a lot of people which i can totally understand because not all of us can afford to spend 1300 dollars on a portable solar generator system but ecoflow does have other more affordable options as well so make sure you check out their website use the links below in the description as well as a pinned comment check out what they have to offer and just be aware that being able to charge your generator system in one hour up to 80 percent by plugging it into the wall is a huge benefit that's extremely fast and that's what the ecoflow delta has over so many other solar generator style products out there and one of the other things that i really like about it is that when you combine it with the solar panels, the 160 watt version anyway, you have a very portable system that can get charged in a relatively decent amount of time. 10 hours is not horrible for having one set of panels and one generator system, but if you want to really maximize it, make sure you get three of the 160 watt panels because that will give you the four hour charge time that is going to be really beneficial during any kind of a big time SHTF scenario where you might not want to be in one place for too long. Now, one thing I want to say is that 
having power of any kind is important. So if you're out of budget and you can't necessarily reach something like the EcoFlow Delta, make sure you get what you can. Make sure you do research and find what's out there for you that's within your budget, but find some way of alternative power because you definitely need something for your home and for your family during an emergency. And if you have to choose a gas generator due to price, there's no problem with that. Just remember the benefits of solar is that you don't have to worry about fuel and that you don't have to worry about leaving a footprint and giving up your OPSEC for anybody else around the neighborhood who might know you have power when everybody else does not. So those are the things to consider. They're also usually less mobile than the solar generator devices just because of size. So wanted to make that mention, let all of you know that there's options for you no matter what your price point is. And if you have any questions about this system at all, leave them in the comments below. But so far, so good. Hopefully I can reach out to EcoFlow and work with them on some of their other products down the road and definitely see what it is they're trying to put out there in the future. Because from what I can tell, this is a capable device and it does exactly as advertised. So what more can you really ask from a unit than that, right? Anything else at all, magicpepper.com. And besides that, that's gonna be it for Magic Prepper. Now